do, um, that I use quite a bit, is Fusel. I do talk about Pixpitch a lot, and I have done a tutorial on Pixpitch, but Fusel is still one of my favorite collages. So I'm going to go ahead and open it, and I'm going to click on New Collage. And what I love about this is that I can just go ahead and pick my photos. So I'm going to tap on Pick Photos. And let's see here. I'm going to tap here, here. And let's see. Here. And here and here. And I think we will call that done. So I click on the check mark. And you see it imports all of my photos for me. Now I could stay with this photo, but what I really like is it shuffles them up and it automatically shuffles them for me. And I can just tap on that as many times as I want. I really like this one, so this is the one I'm going to go with. Now that I've chosen that, I'm going to tap on the photo. And once you see the little lines, it's hard to see online, but there's little lines around my photo, which means that I can now move my photo by just holding it with my finger and moving it. But I can also enlarge it. So my focus is her sitting on this blanket, or blanket, I should say, of pillows. So I'm going to go ahead and then I'm going to go on to the next one. And this book is the one you see her. So she's showing me her nails that she did. So here we are at the beach, and I think that one's quite aligned just fine. And then this one, let's see, I'll move it, move it just a bit down. And then this one, and so this up top. So I'm happy with that, I like the way it looks, and I'm good. Now, border, if I tap on border, I can adjust. If I adjust, just by sliding on the screen to the right or to the left will give me alignment. So if I want it to be round a little bit on the outside, you can see the photos around it, I do that. If I don't and I want it to be square, I do that. I can also tap on inner and round it on the inside a little bit. So I could have it rounded on the inside but not the outside. Shadow is another one of my favorite, favorite features of the Fusel app. So you can see here, I can have a shadow strength pattern. By sliding to the right, I can have no strength by sliding to the left. So if I do a little bit there, I have a shadow. So tap on the check mark and I'm done with that. The next thing is patterns. So you can see there's all of these different options for my background. I can leave it plain white the way it is. I could put these pretty flowers behind it and I can put a pretty little collage. Now, besides patterns, there's also colors. So I'm going to tap on colors, and you can see there's all of these different colors here for me to choose from. Now, after all of that, there's another thing called labels. So there's templates, and you can choose from any of these. So, let's see, I think I'm going to choose that one, and I'm going to change the text to just that favorite now. I can tap on it and move it anywhere I want. I can probably it right then. I can make it smaller. I can rotate it. All by just using the thing. I'm going to make it a touch smaller. And I'm going to leave it right there. I like that. Now, the label done. There's also a thing called decor. So, decor is stickers, which I rarely use the stickers. I'm just not a sticker person. But the option is there, and you can get more by buying more. And then there's frames, which I do use the frames a lot. So, as you can see here, I could shrink all of the photos and have them like that, and have more of the background of the photo. I'm not going to do that. 
Um, let's see what we have here. One of my favorite is this little guy here with the baby kiss. I think that's adorable. And what else? This is another one of my favorites. Just because it's got a blue tint to it and here's my favorite color. But I think for this one, I'm going to leave it just like that. That's good. Now, you can play. Now, how cool is that? That's an awesome feature of your eyes. Go back to still. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you. So you can save it to your device. You can Instagram, Twitter, Twitter, Tinder, all those different places. But I'm just going to save that to my device. Just generating a collage, and it saves to my device. The others option is an open and clipper, and you can assign to a console. So we don't need that. And that's it for the Fusel app. But you can see all of the different possibilities. It's just a really a lot of fun. There's tons of different layouts, just like the stick. You can also change the ratio. The sliding, so one to one is square, obviously. Three to two, two to three, three four, three four, and four three. Those are actually your four by six sizes. So if you want to put something in a four by six, you're going to choose the three four aspect ratio, just so you know. Those are the different aspect ratios that are available with the Google app. And that is pretty much it. There's all of these different templates. So instead of shuffling the layout, if you want to choose your template, there's tons of different templates for you to choose from. All of those options are right there. I like to shuffle the layout and to see what I get. That is the Google app. Thank you for watching another tutorial by Strapping Language.